Hello, Chris here. So, a few things I want you to have open before we continue. It's just two things. We've got the iTunes window, as you can tell here, looks familiar. That's because you use it all the time. And we have a finder window open with our songs that we will be converting to MP3s. These are in the format that comes straight off of Pandora. The FLVs here need to be changed before we can put it into iTunes because iTunes doesn't understand the FLV format. If we tried to drag and drop like I'm trying to do now, it doesn't go because iTunes doesn't know what to do with FLVs. How do we fix that? Simple. Change it to a format that the iTunes does understand. In this case, we're going to use .mov. So what I'm doing here is manually going through the songs. How am I doing that? Simple. Highlight the song, push the enter button on your keyboard or the return button either does the same thing. It goes into the name of the file and you can change .flv to .mov. Here's another quick tip. After you change it to .mov, you'll click return or hit return or enter and this dialog will open. And instead of having to click .use, uh, use.mov, you can just hit Apple U. Here's a trick for Macs in general. Is anytime a dialog box opens and it has two options, you can grab your mouse or your trackpad and click the button, or you can keep your fingers on the keyboard for speed and either hit uh, Command or Apple, depending how you know it. And the first letter of whatever the button is, if it's this one, it's Apple U. If it's this one, it's Apple K. So I'm hitting Apple U, and that helps make it a little bit quicker. Now, you probably got hundreds of these to do. We can talk in the next video about how to make this even quicker. But let me just finish this up real fast, and we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so it took me a couple seconds there to finish up on changing FLV to MOV. But once that's done, leave the window open and go into iTunes. When you're in iTunes, we'll want to check a setting first. This is a one-time thing. Once it's done, don't need to worry about it. Go to iTunes, Preferences. This is the dialog box that opens. You're in the General tab, so don't go searching for it. It's right here, and we're going to click Import Settings. Import using. Make sure it's on MP3 encoder. Anything different might not make it to your final product, whatever you're trying to get it on iPod, iPad, iPhone, or any other MP3 player. MP3 encoder is the way to go. Setting. Good is good enough. I'm telling you, if you want to eventually have a whole bunch of songs in your computer, you don't want to use something that takes up too much space. This one is unnecessary. Unless people are audio files and they really care about the nuances in music high quality is good enough for me and I tell you it's good enough for most people good quality is fantastic if you want to save some space on your hard drive for more songs or other important things so once we have those two options selected mp3 encoder and either good quality or high quality we'll leave this window hit OK we'll leave the other preference window hit OK and we're back to the iTunes browser now we'll pull up the finder window where we've got our .mov files now and after selecting all of them we drag and drop easy so all of that is here it just took a few seconds to do that if you remember when it was .flv it didn't even go but now that it's a recognizable format it goes it even plays oh no oh yes and so here we are, not knowing what to do with it, because this will not go to the iPhone. This will not make it to an MP3 player, just because it's in iTunes. It's going to say it's an incompatible format, and it's right. So what we have to do now is to highlight the songs that we're going to be changing to MP3s, and then going to Advanced Create MP3 Version. That's going to create the MP3s. Now, if your browser isn't as organized as mine, because what you saw there is I drag and dropped these 15 songs, and the 15 songs ended up stacking one on top of the other. The reason that is is because it's sorted by date added. If you're like most people, they've got it sorted by artist or by album. And so what you'll notice is that if you wanted to go grab a song, it's not going to be where you thought it might be. You know. 
So if you wanted this song and, and you dragged in this song and, and then this song, you know, you have to go hunting for it. So don't do that to yourself. Hit Command J or Apple J. This shows the view options. What you want to do is select Date Added. For most people, it's not selected because you don't really have a use for it, but now you do. So you got Date, date Added here in the bar. You're going to go ahead and sort it. You want all your files that you just drag and dropped together and so here they are the 15 that I just put in once they're together you can go ahead and select them all hit this create mp3 version and what you'll notice if you're not playing a song if you're playing a song this will show but if you're not playing a song then it'll show the conversion screen and it's gonna go through each of the songs and what it's doing is it's changing it from our .mlv file to .mp3 but what it's actually doing is it's adding a file so what you're noticing here is that this is a duplicate this because we can 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 is a duplicate blue eyes is a duplicate so what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait for this to complete and once we have 15 brand new songs we're going to come back to the old ones, and we know this is old because we have date added here, right? We've got the time here. This is when I drag and dropped. This is when it was created, so we know what's old. Here's the old ones, .flvs. .mp3s are the new ones, right? So we're going to delete the old ones once this is completed. I'll check back in with you once they are all done. Okay, so the last song has finished converting. You can see always always because we can 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 is also here blue eyes blue eyes and so we have two sets of the same song we don't want that we only need one so we have you know I didn't click off of these by the way yet and that's why it's still blue but we can just go ahead and select them and we can delete them hit delete and let's get rid of these for good by clicking remove and move to trash we don't need trash. Okay, so those are gone. These are the MP3 files now. Oh no. Oh yes. So we're good. We have our MP3 files. And um, let's see, the only thing, I'm trying to make sure you've got everything. Okay, so the, the next video, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to go about um, creating an automated file that's going to allow you to change these .flvs to .mlvs with a single click. So that's next.